Having accurate cuts of fabric is going to make the project that you're working on come together so much easier. Luckily, I've got some cheap and easy hacks that are going to help your rulers stop moving without you having to spend a ton of money. So let's get stuck in. Hi, I'm Emma the Collie Crafter, here to help you make something that you love, whether it is crochet, sewing, quilting, or just learning how to use your sewing machine. I'm here to help you have the confidence to make it yourself. There is nothing more frustrating, I think, to a beginner sewer or somebody who's just starting quilting than the ruler slipping whilst you are trying to cut the fabric. And it happens a lot, experienced quilters and beginner quilters alike. And it's really frustrating. It's even more frustrating if you are working on a project where the fabric that you have, maybe it's out of print and you don't have a lot of it. Maybe it's sentimental fabric, right? You're trying to make a memory quilt or a memory pillow or a memory bear or something to celebrate the life of somebody. Or maybe you're making it for a special occasion, right? Or maybe you're just making a quilt or something for somebody that you really love. You can buy these silicone plastic type um, rings. They look a bit like a washer if you've ever had to um, replace washers in like a faucet or a tap or anything. They kind of look like that and they stick on the back of your ruler. And so here's a close up. You can see they're flexible. They're kind of easy to move and they look just like a washer and they just go straight onto your ruler. However, I find that they tend to fall off. Um, they're easy to stick on, but they come off after a few uses really. Of people recommend them to stop rulers from slipping, especially if the brand of ruler that you have doesn't come with kind of built in grips. There are some brands that have these grips already in there, and these are like a there are rougher kind of texture to them that helps grip the fabric. I got tired and fed up with them falling off all the time and my ruler not being you know, able to kind of stay still. Now, the best way for you to cut the fabric isn't to be going along the whole length, especially if you're trying to cut a large piece, but to go a few inches, stop, readjust your hand and where you're holding that ruler, cut a bit more, stop, readjust your hand, and then proceed with cutting. That's the best way to do it, but I know. I know because I do it too. You just want to run that rotary cutter all the way through and get it done because you want to get your fabric cut and you want to get to piecing and you want to get to actually making your project, right? And talk about the hot glue gun method. So first of all, you're just going to need a basic glue gun. We're going to heat it up and then we're going to put a couple of small blobs onto that ruler. We're going to let it cool down for a bit because it's going to be hot. And then I've just got some grease proof paper here that I'm just pushing it down a little bit so it's not quite as pronounced. So you can see there I've got a couple of little blobs on the ruler on the back and it helps stop the fabric from moving. So here I'm able to cut. I'm still using the method where I you know, keep repositioning my hand whilst I'm cutting, but it slips way less and it was super easy to put on there. Number two, masking tape method. Okay, so I'm just pulling off pieces of masking tape, different sizes, and just making them a little bit smaller. And all I'm doing is just kind of folding them over on themselves to make kind of double-sided tape. You could of course use double-sided tape, that's fine. And then I'm just popping them anywhere on the ruler where it's not gonna be in the way of where I can see the markings. And I'll show you a close-up of that in a minute. But I just put a couple of pieces down on the ruler itself. And you know, you can put more down if you want or less depending on how big your ruler is. And I'm just taking the time here to carefully line up where my cut lines are going to be. So I've got that accurate seam. So I'm just taking that 
little extra just to make sure that we're good and then pressing everything down and you can see everything's kind of staying together it's not moving but here you can see that you want to be careful where you put that tape because you're not going to be able to see the fabric down behind it so you can see there I've got a little piece that was going either side um, but I could see where it was going and there you go I'm able to cut all the way across without um, you know the ruler moving which is great especially when you've got a lot of things that you are trying to cut in one go so this is a super quick and easy method to use if you found this video helpful please let me know in the comments or if you'd like more videos like these on cheap hacks for quilting let me know in the comments check out the next video and I'll see you there